Hello and welcome to my tutorial video on the combustion and oxidation of alcohols. So, whenever a alcohol combusts, um, it needs to be in a plentiful supply of oxygen and it burns completely to form the products carbon dioxide and water. So, this is for ethanol C2H5OH plus 3 O2 molecules gives you 2 CO2 plus 3 H2O. So this is like, so you burn the alcohol to combust it into those pr these products. It, it doesn't just happen when you add oxygen, otherwise there would be ethanol tanks blowing up all the time, and that would be very bad. Um, so we're going to talk about the the oxidation of more complex alcohols and how oxidizing agents um, like potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid can form. Um, aldehydes and water. So if we move on to the next slide I'll talk to you about the oxidation of the alcohol propane ronyl. <coughs> so I identified it as propane ronyl by counting three carbons for prop meth f prop and then count looking for my OH group where is that it's on the first carbon so you go one two and three there so the oxidizing agent is potassium dichromate and H2SO4 as I've put over here so potassium dichromate is considered to be a oxidizing agent this forms the aldehyde pro propanol water. So the OH is is oxidized to form a or well, electrons are removed to form the double bond between the oxygen here as car as carbon can double bond um, to the oxygen now. And a water molecule is quite literally pulled off when this hydrogen molecule and this OH molecule is removed from the molecule. That's where we get our H2O from. So oxidation of alcohols is the removal of a water molecule, quite basically. Although that's the easiest way to um, remember it. Um, so if we heat it even stronger with um, acidified potassium dichromate, we can completely oxidize an alcohol to form um, a carboxylic acid so if we use propanol again because well why not and if we have two oxidizing agents now I will just correct that equation as it looks a bit funny So if we have two oxidizing agents, or two moles of it, <laughs> now the oxidizing agent is potassium dichromate. So I will just add it there. K2Cr2O7. Best to remember what, what this oxidizing agent is as, the, as it's the most common one for, for this particular topic. And we have H2SO4. We need the, the source of H plus ions in order to carry out this reaction and we need it to be in reflux now reflux is the uh, the continual boiling and condensing of the reaction mixture to ensure that the reaction takes place about the contents of the flask boiling dry so that's a key definition and I will just type it up for you after the jump cut so I've put the definition up there so it's just what definition is just what I just said um, but if you want to take notes then you can just copy that off the video and write it in your notebook um, so once we have completed the reaction we form propanoic acid or carboxylic acid so this is sort of when we pull off this water molecule 
and then we have another have another in excess of oxygen this this what this hydrogen molecule bonds to an oxygen to form this OH group and then it forms a double bond oxygen in the roughly the same way as the previous example and it forms another water molecule there. So we'll move on to the next example. So when you prepare the aldehyde you need to distill off the aldehyde from to for, from the reaction mixture as it's formed and it prevents the aldehyde from being oxidized to a carboxylic acid. So if you do not um, distil, distill the aldehyde off you will form a carboxylic acid as as that, that's what reflux is designed to prevent from happening. You want it to continuously react to form the carboxylic acid, but if you just want an aldehyde then you just then you want to use um a distillation apparatus. <laughs> I'll show you what they look like out of the textbook in um a minute. So for the secondary alcohols um, they can be oxidized by using um, dichromate ions again, but this time they produce ketones where a double bond oxygen is present on a single carbon atom and another water molecule is pulled off. Um, and we we'll use this example butan 2 ol with this OH group here and the oxidizing agent again, which I'll, I'll say is potassium dichromate and we make butanone with the ketone on carbon 2 and tertiary, uh, tertiary alcohols are resistant to ox oxidation so the oxidation agent will remain orange in colour um, you'll see what I mean when I show you the pictures um, so I've got a couple of examples tips here the colour change of acid dichromate from orange to green is often tested in the exam papers. So this examiner tip is saying that whenever an, a an alcohol is oxidised, um, the potassium dichromate will change from orange to green. So when it changes to green, that means you have an oxidised alcohol in your reaction vessel. So now we'll take a moment to have a look at the, the, the app sets apparatus. Okay, so if we have a look at the textbook here, this apparatus is the, is the distillation apparatus. Now, if you look really closely um, at the solution, it is orange. So this is indicating that the alcohol has not been oxidized yet. So when you stick a Bunsen burner under it, um, you will send all of the reaction mixture through the condenser and then it will condense off as a as an as a carbox sorry a, 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 an aldehyde into the um mercury cylinder there and the next set of apparatus now is the reflux apparatus so this is where we continuously react we continuously react it to form the carbox carboxylic acid um yeah um, hopefully there's a bunch of bird under there so you heat the reaction vessel and then the vapors are continuously condensed and it keeps going back into the reaction vessel and once it fully turns green then your alcohol is completely oxidized into a carboxylic acid so another, another thing to add here remember that the primary alcohols form aldehydes and then a carboxylic acid, secondary only form ketones, but tertiary alcohols have no reaction. If you don't if you can't quite remember what primary, secondary or tertiary alcohols are, um, look up the previous tutorial that I posted on diff the different types of alcohols. Right, okay, we're going to do some complete combustion equations for pentan one oh and two B for hexan one oh. So a quick hint is you need your compound to start off with plus the number of oxygens to make CO2 and H2O 
So, first step is to count your carbons and count your hydrogen atoms present, and then count the oxygen molecules on the right hand side later, and then you can deduce the number of oxygen molecules required once you have calculated the number of oxygen atoms that are present on the right hand side. And for this particular question, we draw the skeletal formula of the organic product form when excess acidified potassium dichromate is heated under reflux with 2 methyl hexanolol and 3 methyl pentan 2 ol So it's your compound plus the uh, oxidizing agent or potassium dichromate. And you have to make note of its structure and find out what, whether it could form an, al an aldehyde or a carboxylic acid. I'll give you five seconds to pause the video and have a go at it. Come back when you're done. Okay. So the answer to the question one is C five H eleven plus eight O two is five CO two plus six H two O. I worked it out because I was five carbons in on the right on the left hand side, we need five carbons on the right hand side. And the number of oxygens is five times sorry, not five times two. Yes, five times two, five because the molar ratio is five, so five times two is ten. And then um, six H two O because there's six oxygens in all of the molecules. So yeah, you write a six, not a zero. Six. Ten plus six is sixteen. And sixteen over two, because we need to find out the number of mo oxygen molecules is eight. And for this one, this is 2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B2B